Hey guys, it's Kat and I'm back today to talk about lip products. Now I have a lot of lip products in front of me. I have containers, I have uh, drawers that I've taken out of like my thing. So I've got two of these in front of me. So um, I've got a lot of lip products to talk about. Well, not a lot of them, but I thought um, back when I did my Pat McGrath review, I talked about the two lipsticks that I bought from that brand and I said even though I do really like them um, they aren't like my favorite and um, I'm not saying that those like those lip products are very nice I heard a lot of hype around them though so I thought they're going to be like the bee's knees and they were pretty nice but I still like other lip products a bit better and this video isn't so much about what lip products are better than Pat McGrath because that's not what this is but this is more about lip products that I have really been enjoying reaching for either recently or in the past year um, and these are ones that I don't think get enough hype um, so Pat McGrath like I said got a lot of hype Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks get a lot of hype Kat Von D do for some reason um, Mac uh, just I like their creamy matte lipsticks. I think they're fantastic. They get a lot of hype. Colourpop get a lot of hype. So I'm not talking about the things that are super hyped up, um, even though some of those are very good. I am just talking about the products that I reach for on a daily basis, and I'm surprised that I don't hear enough people talking about them. All right, the first ones, uh, and I'm going to mention these, even though they're very expensive. You can hear them. Um, even though they're very expensive and I've only got three of them, I am planning on getting more this holiday season because I have packs, thank God. Um, but these, I think, are way better than the Pat McGrath lipsticks. And they are by, by, by Hourglass. They're the Confession Ultra Slim Lipsticks. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. Um, so these are very, very bougie. They come in these gold cases. Um, very weighty, very good quality. And what's cool about them is that you buy them in the cases, but you can buy refills. So um, if you're worried about going, okay, I've just spent all this money on this fancy metal packaging, you can actually take them out and buy refills. So if you've used one up, you can replace them. The problem with these I find is that, you know, you get a very small amount of product in them. So that is my most used one in um, I Desire, which is my favorite one. So they're very, very thin, but they're beautiful to apply because they're very precise. Um, and also I just read a comment, I think yesterday, um, this is a nude one that I have. That one is called I want so that's roughly sort of how much product you get in them it's not too much um, and I also have another red one called my icon is so this one's more of a pinky red I'm gonna swatch them all for you the pigmentation is gorgeous um, but I did read someone commenting on beauty news the other day saying that they finally bought the holiday packs of these and they were really surprised because not only are they super comfortable but they said that they wore them uh sort of all night and it wore they wore really really well um and in that time normally they would be reapplying a couple of times with a, maybe a more affordable lipstick um so i find that even though you don't get much product in these and these are pretty pricey um the fact that you can um you know refill them is great but also I find that I put one of these on and I don't need to reapply pretty much all day or all night depending on when I put it on so these are sort of like my bougie going out lipsticks um I think that because they're so beautiful and there's not much product in them I don't tend to wear them on a daily basis I've only got three um but if I'm going to an event or I've got like a nice handbag and I, I just I love these these are my favorite formula hands down and I just don't feel like there's enough people that talk about them. Um, yeah, there's Christmas packs that are coming out soon, which I'll nab both of them because um, these are fantastic. But um, yeah, I think, I think these are my favorite lipsticks of all time. All right, the next one that I'm going to talk about is another bullet lipstick, and then I'm gonna get on to liquid lipsticks and stains. Um, I really wanna talk about this one by Shura Mira. This is a limited edition uh, design and a limited edition shade, but it is in there supreme matte range i love this i have used so much of this usually i don't use up lipsticks very well but you can see how much i've already used in it i don't know if you can see in there but i've used a lot so this lipstick comes with me 
everywhere. And if I want a pop of color that looks amazing, this is the one I go for. This shade is in Yaz Red. So like I said, it was limited edition earlier this year, but you can get this formula and similar colors in the permanent range. And this is great. So this is, you can see that it looks like it's very patchy, but it's not. Um, it's just more of a powdery formula. So it reminds me of um, maybe the new MAC Powder Kiss or maybe even like Ruby Woo, where it's that kind of really powdery finish, but it looks so vibrant, it wears so well. This is super comfortable, it's very thin, um, and the color is just, because of that powder finish, it ends up looking really sort of, I know this sounds weird, but it looks very flat, but very bright. I love this, I wear this all the time. It's always in my handbag and that's why it's so like scuffed up and gross because I use it all the time. I do have a weird color of this as well. It's like a periwinkle blue, um, but I do want to, and that one wears really well as well. This is sort of what I've got a periwinkle blue from this collection and a periwinkle blue from, um, the Fenty Mademoiselle lipsticks, I hate those. I sort of expected those to perform like these and they don't. They have beautiful colors, but they wear like crap. Whereas if you like that sort of matte cream, beautiful finish with interesting colors, this range is head and shoulders above the Fenty ones. Like I said, this is always in my handbag. I did also want to mention that they have other, um, so the packaging, okay, these are both limited edition packaging, but the packaging is very similar. This is the Rouge Unlimited Sheer Shine. So this is the Rouge Unlimited uh, Supreme Matte. I don't like the Sheer Shine as much. They, they're fine, but they just, I don't like them as much. That They're just sheer lipsticks that sort of wear off. It's like a little glossy balm thing. These Supreme Mattes are Fantastic. Okay, on two liquid lipsticks, and I really want to mention um, my new favorites. I actually have four of them. Where did I put them all? All right, so you can tell that I love something when I've tried it and then I go back and buy more. So these are the new uh, Lux lipsticks from Bobbi Brown. I think they've had Lux lipsticks for a long time, but then they've turned them into liquid lipsticks. Um, and so we have two finishes here. You can see the two shiny lids are the shiny ones, and the two matte lids are, lids are the matte ones. Now I I was gifted these two and then I went back and I bought these two. So the fact that I went back and bought these, these are not cheap. They're $56 in Australia. I went back and bought two. It shows how much I love these. I just wanted shades that I could wear probably more commonly on a daily basis. I'm wearing the nude one today. So this is one of the glossy ones um, and this is in the shade Barely Nude. Each of these ranges, so the glossy and uh, these are called, so these are the Lux Liquid Lip High Shine. So each of the high shine ones come in nine shades and each of the Lux Liquid Lip Velvet Mattes come in nine shades. So there's 18 shades all together. Um, I'm gonna swatch this. I am, like I said, I'm wearing the uh, this nude one today and it doesn't look glossy because I only put a small amount on. So these can be quite thick um, and these, but so you can see how pigmented they are. And if you put a lot on, they can give you a nice shine but I tend to just scrape off some of the excess and put on a smaller amount because I find that it can feel a little bit heavy on the lips. They wear super well, but if you, yeah, if you want a very high shine, put more on. If you want it to be a little bit more um, comfortable and not as shiny, you just have to scrape off um, the doe foot applicator a little bit and put a little bit less on, which is what I've done today. But I love this shade. It's like a liquid lipstick version of Velvet Teddy, um, but it's super comfortable, super pigmented. I think it looks really, really pretty. It's just a beautiful color. Um, but then I also have in that shiny range, this is called Wild Orchid. This is the deeper shade. And once again, this is super beautifully pigmented and they wear so well. You can see that that shine on that dark color Oh, it's gorgeous. Or you can sort of blot it down. This does stain, so it turns into more of a stain. And I found that I wore this last week, and this is when I went back and bought more because I was so impressed. I wore this out and I had lunch. It didn't transfer anywhere and it sort of faded down to like a glossy stain. And I was so impressed with this. It was super easy to reapply. You can make it bold, you can shear it out. And I was so impressed that straight after lunch, I picked up more. So that's why <laughs> I love these. So these are the shiny ones. And then arguably the matte ones are even better um, if you like a matte lip. So I picked up Blood Orange. So this is the one that I bought. 
So you can see the pigmentation is beautiful. This is a nice sort of terracotta bright orange. And this is the, once again, the darkest in the range called Your Majesty. I'm pretty sure it's the darkest in the range or one of. Um, and this is more of a sort of, I don't know, wine shade. These look shiny right now, but they will settle down. And once again, um, these can, I think the one downside is that you can over apply them and they can feel a little bit heavy on the lips, but they wear so well. I wore the orange one all day and it I, like i think in the afternoon i it was like four o'clock or five o'clock i checked my makeup to be like oh i should reapply this and i'm like no need so these are fantastic i think they're so great i think if they were just cheaper i'd buy all of them uh, but they're not so these are new from bobby brown look at that shine and then these do settle down matte and the colors are fantastic the pigmentation is supreme so yeah i know that those don't really suit the um you know underrated product thing because they're only brand new so um, not many people know about them but uh, if you have you know if you are interested they're really nice then on to other liquid lipsticks I wanted to mention that my favorite range of liquid lipsticks and I've got them all here because I really love them they are by Too Faced and they're the melted mattes so I once again, like these have been out for a long time. They do keep re-releasing shades, not re-releasing, bringing out new shades, but I've got a couple of minis and I've got, um, you know, a bunch of them. I have a heap of them. So I do know that they keep bringing out new shades and they bring out Christmas packs, which I'm looking forward to the Christmas minis. Oh my God, I'm gonna, I'm there, I'm buying them. Um, but these for me are really great liquid lipsticks. And I know that, you know, Too Faced, <laughs> I'm dropping them all. I've got nine of them um, because Too Faced is a really big brand. So if you're wondering and going, okay, these aren't underrated. I just don't hear anyone talk about them. I even remember when the Christmas pack came out uh, in the US, uh, the mini one that's yet to come out in Australia. Um, I remember Emily Noel actually said that she'd never used them before. And I, whenever I talk about them, I know a lot of people say, oh yeah, I've heard you talk about them, but I've never used them before. So I feel like these are, you know, things that a lot of people have no of, but don't actually try. And in my opinion, they shit all over Jeffree Star, Cav on D, Wet n Wild, all those things. I think these are really, really great. Um, so this is a mini one um, from a Christmas collection. It sort of sparked my obsession of these. But I do think that like all liquid lipsticks, the consistency of, or the, how it wears and how it applies varies from shade to shade. And the rule of thumb with liquid lipsticks is that nudes, generally wear super, super well. Bright reds wear super, super well, but very, very dark shades and very, very like neon shades or shades that have a lot of a white base. So very fair nudes, like the concealer lip nudes, they often need a lot more pigment to be opaque. So they often are a little bit more crumbly. So I do think that the strength in this collection are the nudes and also the reds. Um, so this is Queen Bee, this is Sell Out, this is Suck It, this is Wine Not, which ends up applying quite dark. Um, I'll just swatch this one for you. It's a lot darker than it looks in the tube. So that's it there. That one does wear pretty well, but if you go much darker than that, I find that they can be a bit crumbly. But all of these are super comfortable. They're very, very pigmented. They wear through food. They're great. So these are liquid lipsticks that I know that I can wear these and like your lips look great. They're great. The next products that I really do like because they're very comfortable, but they're very flattering and they wear really well are by Pixie. Um, these are the, what are they called? Matte Last Liquid Lip. I think Pixie is one of those brands that are really hit or miss. So some products um, are really good. Some products are kind of shit, um, but these are great. These are the first five that were released. I think they've got another five now. I think they've got some pinks and they've got some reds, I really want the reds, but my favorite are these two here, which are like the true nudes. So we have matte beige, which is my most used one, and also pastel petal, which is close. But if you want a very comfortable liquid lip, um, these are a lot thinner than the, um, the Too Faced ones. They are just as like pigmented. You can see it almost looks like an oil slip to it, but these are just really flattering. They wear really nicely. They just wear down to, um, so that's matte beige, I think. You can see that there's not much of a difference. Matte beige and pastel petal there. Um, but you can, they wear really well. They're super, super comfortable. Um, so these are ones that once again, if I want a nice nude lip, I go for these. Uh, we've got more pinky ones and a slightly more peachier one. I don't reach for these as much, but uh, these are handbags 
handbag staples. I often have them floating around my handbag. Then the last thing that I harp on about all the time and at any one point in time, I've got one of these in my handbag. I've just pulled out um, one of them to talk about today um, is the Tony Moly lip stains. I've got all of them. These are available in Maya in Australia. Um, I think generally the ones that are in stock because there are two new ones that have recently come out this uh tomato orange one and this uh sort of i think it's a petal one the pink the the sort of true red the orangey red and the orange are always in stock i sometimes go past to see if there's any more shades and they are always in stock so if you wanted to find them you can but these are the shocking lip stains now they do have other lip stains which i'll show you in a second but these are my all-time favorites and um, they all sort of look sort of similar in the swatch but they look slightly different on the lips so you have more of a true orange which does lean a little bit red so it's not too um doesn't make your teeth look too yellow then you have tomato which is a little bit more coral i would say so it's a red but it's not like an orange orange red it's like a it's got a bit of a coral to it, which is really pretty. Then we've got Shocking Ruby, which is more of an orange toned um, red, which I love. And often with lip stains, I find that they the reds often go very pink, whereas they, this is very sort of orange red, which I like. Um, and I don't know if you can see the comparison. I don't know if you can see the comparison, but that is Tomato Shocking, that is Ruby Shocking. This one does apply a little bit more coral. That one applies a little bit more orange. The only reason I'm not swatching them is because they stain so much that I will have stained hands for until tomorrow. So that's why I'm not actually swatching them, but I've done a review of these. So if you wanna see them, I've talked about them many times. Uh, then you have more of a true red. This is more, once again, of your sort of ruby red, a darker red, it's gorgeous. You have more of a true pink. So this is shocking pink and it's more of a bright pink. Um, and that true red, I think is just called shocking red. And then the one that I recently just got out of my handbag is shocking petal. So this is, once again, looks very similar to a lot of them but this is more like a ready pink. So this is more, yeah, I don't know, a ready pink, a bright coral, something. So I love these, I have them all, I use them all the time. And the thing that's so fantastic about these is that um, you put them on and once they sort of settle down, they become transfer proof. They're very, very bold and vibrant and they last so well that you, generally have them on until the very next day. Um, so whenever I wear these, I have people ask me what I'm wearing and I always have to make sure I've got it in my handbag to be like, it's this. Uh, that's what happens to me often. And that's actually how I found out about these was I saw someone in the shops, um, uh, someone working at a store and I was like, oh my God, what is your lip color? And she mentioned these and I went and bought them straight after. I bought one, I think, and then I went back and bought all of them because they're that good. Um, yeah, pretty much I, I've i tried, a lot of people say, oh, have you tried this stain and that stain? I've tried so many different stains from Korean brands like Tony Moly, but this one, these are always my favorite. So yeah, I think since my obsession with this, I have ordered a lot of stains and none of them stain as well as these. So yes, I've tried uh, Peri Pera. I've tried, I've tried so many brands and these are the ones that I always come back to. Now I do want to point out that I also have the full range of their velvet stains. So these are also from Tony Moly. They look like little nail polishes and they come in a lot more shades. So um, you've got some sort of more nude shades. I'll show it to you. So you've got like more of a peachy nude shade, uh, which looks like that. So it's not as vibrant. You've got more of a, just a nude shade. So that's like a rosy nude shade. Um, and these are really pretty. I do find that the bright ones are the ones that wear the best. So for example, this one is more of a bright one. It's like a bright, sort of reminds me of the petal one in the other one. Um, and this is more of an orangey red as well. These wear really well. They're sort of like a stain version of a matte liquid lipsticks. So they do look matte on the lips. They're very comfortable. I just find that these lighter shades, they don't wear as well and they don't really stain. So I think some of these are great. Some of these aren't as great and they don't stain as much as the shocking ones. But if you prefer a matte finish, these ones are the ones with the matte finish. I sort of want to take uh, this lip off and put a stain on. So I will. All right, I'm going to put the orange one on because I feel like it. It's very bright, but I feel like it.
All right, so that's shocking orange. So you can see it sort of, it is very orange, but it, it sort of, once you've put it on, it sort of settles down to more of an orange red. And this stain is crazy. It is crazy. Um, you can see that it's got a shine to it, but if you, uh, that sort of settles down over time. So it ends up sort of conditioning or moisturizing your lips. And then when that starts to wear off, so after you're eating and drinking, it sort of just looks like a normal stain. And then you can put a lip balm or something on over the top if you want or reapply. I think it's really gorgeous. I might actually put one of the matte ones over the top so you can see how the matte ones compare. I'll reach for the matte orange. So this is, I don't know, zero six. It's a matte orange one. So you can see that's like that. I've never actually put the stain over each other. So we'll see how it goes. So that is this one over the top of the other one. Um, it's not really matte, it's not really shiny. It's sort of, it's got a little bit of a shine. I think it will settle down to more of a matte, but you can see that this one just adds a little bit more darkness to the lip, but it will probably start to settle a little bit more matte soon. But you know, you've got a shiny and a matte together, but there you go. All right guys, so those are the lip products that I personally love and I think are sort of under appreciated in sort of the makeup community. I have tried so many other liquid lipsticks. I've got, you know, Wet n Wild here. I've got, I've got NYX, I got Kylie, I got Huda. I've got everything. I've got Sugar Pill, Dose of Colors, Lime Crime, Anastasia Beverly Hills, YSL. I've got so many lip products because I'm sort of like a lip product junkie. Um, I can, I've sort of realized in my time that I do like playing with different eyeshadows, but I particularly love a beautiful lip. And if a beautiful lip is bold, is comfortable, wears well, then I'm, I'm a happy camper. I can pretty much wear virtually no makeup, but a beautiful lip and I'm, I, I like my makeup. So um, these are the products that I do think are sort of underappreciated. Um, you can see this is starting to go a bit more matte. God, that's a good color. I love it. So yeah, these are the products that I think aren't really talked about enough or aren't given enough props to. But I do want to say that if I my whole makeup collection disappeared and I just had to buy the shades in these products, like these lip products, I would be super happy. If I had all of these and sort of like all of these and the liquid lipsticks and the stains I'm talking about, which I do have all the stains because I'm crazy. Um, I wouldn't even notice that my makeup collection has disappeared because these are the ones that I always reach for. They're reliable, they wear well, they look great, they feel comfortable. Um, they're fantastic, I love them. All right guys, I will see you in the next one, bye.